Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm James Munoz. And I'm Ozzie Mora. Last night on News Center 25 at 10, we brought you live updates from that aircraft crash near Inez. This afternoon, we have an update on the pilot, the sole victim of the plane crash, and what the agencies investigating the crash are facing today. At approximately 8.02 on December the 9th, a Cessna 208 caravan from Martin Air, contracted by UPS, departed the Victoria Airport en route to Houston. And at 8.17 p.m., the air traffic control team lost visibility of the aircraft, and it crashed. There was one fatality at the scene of the plane crash, which was the pilot of that aircraft. The pilot's name is Y-U-T-A-E, Ute, Kim, K-I-M. The date of birth is January 1st of 58 from Arlington, Texas. Um, he was deceased in the aircraft. He's the pilot and the only occupant in the aircraft. Sergeant Ruben San Miguel of the Department of Public Safety tells us that the plane did not catch fire upon impact, but the pilot was deceased at the time of emergency personnel arrival. Due to the remote location of the crash site, first responders faced some difficulty in locating it, but multiple witnesses in the area helped pinpoint the location quickly so that the scene could be secured. Residents reported hearing and seeing the plane go down and found the location to be off of Benbow Road, down Church Lane, and on privately owned property. Those property owners, however, were not available for comment. Sergeant San Miguel tells us that the FAA and NTSB will investigate the crash to discern exactly what caused the plane to go down on its return to Victoria Regional. However, more information will not be available to the public until those agencies' investigations are completed. And we were able to get out to the scene. The Texas Department of Public Safety, along with the Victoria Sheriff's Office and the Victoria Fire Marshal's Office have secured the site and are waiting for the uh, representatives from the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Administration to arrive at the scene to conduct their investigation. As we learn more, we will release information as those investigations wrap up. With your hometown news, I'm Cass Cameron.